Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to the Forest of Arden. Today we're talking about practice. And I've got a fantastic little exercise that you can do in practice which is going to help you hit the ball on multiple different ball flights and help you generate a better understanding about how your golfing should feel. Okay, welcome back to the Forest of Arden. We're on the 17th, this par 5. I'm joined by Alistair. How are you? I'm very good. I needed a glamorous assistance. So I've uh, pulled Alistair in so he can help me. Um, so this is something which I think would help a lot of golfers during practice. And it's also adding a little bit of fun to your practice. And I think, uh, you know, for me, if you can add some fun and some kind of different elements to your practice, it's going to help. Would you agree? Yeah, got to have some fun. Absolutely. So this is something you could do, you know, maybe at the end of your practice session or potentially at the start of your practice session. All you need is a willing friend or even just someone you can drag and you can just forced to do what I'm doing at Alice today. So what we're going to do, I've got myself a six iron here, which is not the club I'd hit off this par five tee, but it's a pretty good club to do this with. Um, and we're going to talk about a little exercise that I saw Jordan Spieth doing recently. And if it's good enough for Jordan Spieth, I think it's pretty, probably good enough for us. Um, so we've got nine ball flights. So you've got straight shots that would go medium, low and high. Then you've got draw shots that would go medium, low and high. And you've got fade shots that would go medium, low and high. And I really want to try and in practice be able to hit all of those uh, nine shots. I was going to say six then. This is where the little twist is. I'm going to take my setup with my target in mind. I'm going to make my backswing and as I get to the top of my backswing, Alistair is going to call out one of those nine ball flights. Aren't you? Yes. Okay. And I've then got to try and hit that ball flight. So I can't change my setup. I can't change my backswing because obviously at those points, I don't know what that ball flight is going to be. So I have to use my skill. I have to use my ability to control the things that are going to control the ball flight. Those three things really are going to be the path of the golf club, the face of the golf club and the dynamic loft because those are going to change the curves and the trajectories. Are you ready? I'm ready. Don't get confused and shout out two or something. Okay. Right, so my target is going to be, I'm going to use just that kind of tree that I can see in the distance. I'm trying to second guess what you're going to call now. Ready? Yep. High draw. Okay, bit of a high hook. Yeah. Got it moving the right way. But it wasn't bad. Yeah. It wasn't bad. Okay. I reckon that swing was a bit slower than. I think uh, I think when I saw Jordan Speed do it, it was a little bit better than that. But uh, okay, let's have another go. Low fade. Oh, pretty good. Wasn't bad. I give you that. It wasn't bad. Okay, last one. Low draw. Oh, I was confused then. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So certainly you could add this into your practice. You could almost do this with a friend and almost kind of mark it for each shot. So you might give yourself a point for the right curve. You might give yourself a point for the right trajectory and you might give yourself a point for where the ball finished. So for every shot, you've got to kind of mark out three. Maybe do six shots, swap around and do it for Alistair and just see kind of how good you are at this. So certainly, you know, really good because I'm really trying to hit those different flights with no technical thoughts. I'm not thinking about, you know, back single takeaway or those kind of things. Just trying to use my skill uh, as a golfer to be able to create those ball flights. So, you know, the golfers out there who struggle with direction are often after a swing, which gives them the correct path, the correct face, the correct attack angle, those kind of things. But the best golfers in the world would probably have the ability to change all of those things in the golf swing rather than just have the one that works. Would you agree? Yeah, I think this gets you back to instinctiveness yeah. and it debugs you from a technical point of view instead of thinking the perfect it helps you be freer really exactly and it's good to get free and instinctive occasionally it's good to work on technique too i love technique you do as well yeah. but it's good to be free as well isn't it i'd agree now some of you might be there thinking well I, i'm not very good at hitting fades and draws well that's exactly why you would do this at exercise you know you're trying to just develop that part of your game and i guarantee you, if you can control those things the path the face the dynamic loft it's going to help you around out the golf course and you're trying to hit to those flags that may be tucked away on the greens alice thank you for being my glamorous assistant oh, yeah, debbie mcgee, <laughs> debbie McGee. Um, right so thank you very much for watching that video um also thank you to alistair i will link his channel down below and at the end of the video as well so if you haven't checked out his channel make sure you do so uh, but usual stuff is down there comments box like button and there's also over here my logo that'll allow you to be a free subscriber of the channel would love to have you along for the journey thank you very much for watching we'll hopefully see you back here again soon